I got up this morning and I knew this was not going to be a typical day. I knew there was going to be something special about it. I knew about this event today. But when you come out here, anytime you come out to the Kentucky Horse Park, uh, anytime you connect in with the equine industry, but especially with U.S. Equestrian, it's going to be more than just an average day. It's going to be a special day. So I can only imagine with all the employees here how excited you have to be and there's somebody else even more excited. <laughs> but you have to be for what's going to take place here today. Good morning. Thank you all for attending the grand opening of the U.S. Equestrian's new headquarters. And as I said, this is a very exciting day. My name is Bob Quick. I'm the president and CEO of Commerce Lexington. And I am very pleased and honored to be able to serve as your MC here this morning as we celebrate the opening of your new headquarters, our new headquarters. We take a special pride in the community. As Lexington is the horse capital of the world, we boast many great equine associations and businesses headquartered in Kentucky at the Kentucky Horse Park. Horses are a major part of Lexington's economy and are at the heart of our local culture. Beyond the horse farms, the existing businesses and equine associations and organizations, the equine industry plays a major role in tourism throughout the state. To kick off our program and, and economic development, to kick off our program, I would like to introduce Secretary Don Parkinson. He's the Secretary of Tourism, Arts, and Heritage Cabinet. So please join me in welcoming Secretary Parkinson. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we we're so happy to be here. This has been such a, uh, a, a fast construction. I remember whenever uh, Murray and Bill came to see us about three years ago, and we were just new to government at the time. We didn't know that you could move this fast. So uh, they, we had the meeting, and, and three days later we had a deal. And uh, we did everything legally, uh, not a problem, but, it was, <laughs> but everything was moving very, very fast because this place is so important to us. This organization is so important to all of us here in Kentucky and here at the Horse Park. Now the Horse Park has been on a roll here for the last three years. Things have gone very, very well. Having this anchor for all of the horse industry is so very important to all of us here at the Horse Park. We have over 30 uh, question organizations that are officed here, and uh, it's really important that we have the big capstone here with USEF. We have had a uh, tremendous growth here in just the last three years, and. Uh, we're spending less taxpayer money to keep this thing moving, and we have a lot of new events coming. One of the big events coming will be Equitana next September. It's, we're going to be the U.S. headquarters for this European equestrian trade show. They're going to be here and uh, for the next many years, hopefully starting next September. So we have a lot of momentum right now. And I wanted to thank Laura Pruitt and uh, Jonathan Lang, who can't be here today, the way they've operated this business is getting so much better. The facility is much better. We're getting new events, and having Equitana is the big is the big win for the state. And we have a commission member here, Dr. Nancy Cox, uh, who is here for all of our meetings, and we have the chair, Lisa Ball, here, who has made so much progress here. So we thank you all very much. So, Bob, who is up next? All right. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Parkinson. Uh, we appreciate the uh, partnership that your cabinet, uh, your team, uh, provides with uh, Commerce Lexington, with Kentucky Horse Park, with uh, folks here in Central uh, Kentucky. Our next uh, speaker is Mayor Linda Gordon. Our team enjoys our partnership with you and your administration. One of Mayor Gordon's key initiatives is establishing Lexington as a hub for ag tech. I love hearing that. I'm a farmer at heart, so. Uh, always love hearing that for business and for organizations. Organizations like U.S. Equestrian are an integral part of our growing agriculture and ag tech sector. Our team is excited to partner with Mayor Gordon and her administration on supporting entities like U.S. Equestrian success here in Lexington. I would like to introduce Mayor Linda Gordon to offer some remarks about this important day. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Linda Gordon. Good morning. Look around. 
This is an awesome crowd. I think the crowd stretches back to that wall and to this wall. Plus, we have the wonderful extra entertainment. Um, this is a great day. It's so nice to see all of you out. And I'd like especially um, Murray Kessler and Bill Maroney and everyone from U.S. Equestrian Federation to say congratulations. This is a gorgeous building. Congratulations. What a great day to be here in the horse capital of the world, as Bob mentioned. The Kentucky Horse Park is truly a national center of the horse. There are many reasons. After all, it is the world's only park dedicated to man's relationship and woman's relationship with the horse. It is also home to dozens of equine-related associations, organizations that represent different breeds, different professions, different activities. We are so proud to say one of these organizations is the U.S. Equestrian Federation, which has now built what we hope will be its permanent home here at the Horse Park. The Federation brings the Olympic rings to the bluegrass. Think about that. That's awesome. As the national governing body of equestrian support, the Federation has an agreement with the U.S. Olympic Committee that allows it to display the Olympic rings. And I saw them right outside on the building. They are located near the main entrance to the horse park. So, Everyone will see them. I'm a strong supporter of our equine industry. It is a key part of our signature brand here in Fayette County and Central Kentucky, as is the horse park. The farms that surround our city sustain our economic health and quality of life. Agribusiness generates $2.3 billion annually. Think about that, $2.3 billion, and drives a burgeoning travel and tourism industry here. We are working to promote and grow our agricultural industries to create the environment for Lexington to become the hub of high-tech agricultural innovation, to support our next generation of farmers, equine farmers, and all ag. And so I just want to say a heartfelt thank you to the U.S. Equestrian Federation for your investment in our community. It means everything to us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob. I love having my guests, our guests from the community come here and they'll meet our mayor and they'll always say, she's the most genuine person I've ever met. And I go, that's Kentuckians, that's our mayor. Thank you, Mayor Gordon. Next we're gonna hear from Laura Pruitt, who is the executive director of the Kentucky Horse Park. The Kentucky Horse Park has a major impact on our economy and our quality of life in Lexington. They are a huge asset to Lexington with tourism, they bring the world here through global competitions and in recruiting organizations like U.S. Equestrian here. I cannot imagine there is any other facility in the world, and through my job I've had the chance to travel the world, that will even match or come close to what we have here. No one does. A lot of people dream of the day they can, but they haven't been able to do that, nor will they, because we won't let them. So please, so please help uh, welcome Laura Pruitt. Laura. Good morning. It seems like not too long ago, I can recall on a much warmer day, we were right out there with shovels in our hands. Um, it's hard to believe with just a little over a year, this amazing building is here. Um, I've told Bill, before that the the team David the architects of getting this done is just magnificent in such a quick time frame 
I know a lot of you have heard me refer to the Kentucky Horse Park as the Wall Street of the equine world. And I truly believe that. <clears throat> I think most of us here get that and what that connotation means to us. But what's important for us to realize is the 500,000 or so guests that come through our gates perhaps don't understand the significance of what that means. To be standing right here in a building that is a national governing body of equestrian sport moves it to a whole new, different level. So the folks that come through and realize the, the state of Kentucky as a horse capital of the world, I think we can truly move it up a notch. I think the Kentucky Horse Park can be the sports capital of the world. I think that it's significant that we help to tell our stories, that all of our employees tell the stories to the people that come through and what's significant about the industries that are here. And our story is that this is our livelihood. It's the livelihood of over 30 organizations here and their employees that find the value of being here at the Kentucky Horse Park. It's the livelihood of the hundreds of businesses for which the horse park is a catalyst for them economically and educationally with equine. So on behalf of the Kentucky Horse Park, I would like to thank the Federation for helping us tell that part of the story, and we need to continue to do so. It's also my great pleasure to congratulate the staff, Bill and Murray. Um, I think that this day truly is monumental and that not only does it talk about our sponsorship, I mean our relationship, but the commitment that the U.S. Equestrian Federation has in the horse park, in our state, in our sport, and in our city. So thank you all for being here. Very well said, and thank you for your leadership and what you have meant to the Kentucky Horse Park, to our community, and to the equine world. U.S. Equestrian located to Lexington in the late 1990s, and our team has enjoyed our partnership with them throughout the years. They are a staple in the equine industry, serving as the national governing body of the equestrian sport in the United States. I don't think I could say that enough. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to introduce U.S. Equestrian President Murray Kessler. Please join me in welcoming <laughs> Murray. I love getting to go last. I get to hear some of the other comments. So yes, Laura, we are willing to take sponsorship. If, uh, I'm pretty sure that wasn't a slip of the tongue. And, and I too love, this is the first time we've ever had the Olympic rings on the building. And you know, the, the team worked hard to get that approval. And now the way the USOC is formed is the USOPC. Or the, we also have the Paralympic um, symbols up up there as well, and that's the first thing you see when you come in the building, and it's a big deal. Um, so for my prepared remarks, and I have a couple others I'm gonna add in here, but um, for all of you, welcome to our new home. I'm here at 4001 Wing Commander Way, and it, we believe it sets the stage for a bright new future for US Equestrian, and reflects our commitment to service for all of our members, affiliates, and partners every single day. As we've said, the first time, this is the first time ever for us that the Olympic and Paralympic marks are proudly and prominently displayed on the U.S. Equestrian Building, um, which is representing the role we play as the national governing body for equestrian sport. As background, um, this took a, you know, it seems like it went fast to all of you, but I mean, for some of us who were in the evaluation stage after a 20-year lease that was coming to an end, and this was years in the making before we actually got to the to the building component of it, and the board of directors worked hard to evaluate. Um, do you stay in the existing building and renovate? And that building was difficult for us. For those of you and, and a lot of our associates that are in the room, it was siloed, and the teams couldn't really work together. And our customer service group sat in a, you know, upstairs in an attic with no windows, and and they were supposed to be the cheery face for the federation, which is um, not so easy. So we, we and. and we knew we needed to, to move, and then it was a decision, do you stay here, or do you move elsewhere to downtown Lexington or to another um, state altogether? Um, but at the end, we concluded that the modern headquarters would allow us, um, believe it or not, to see a, this beautiful building saves over 200000 a year versus where we were, um, with us putting zero dollars down. This was all you know, financed at 
um, great rates thanks to the city and the state's unbelievable support for us. Um, and again, it, it actually um, saves money for our membership that can be put to work against sports. It provides an educational and interactive space for visitors, and it allows um, a collaborative environment, which is so critical um, to create the energy we want to create to build the sport. So for, for me, I'd like to thank the board and those who served on the building task force for their hard work and support. Um, throughout the process, we've remained committed um, to keeping U.S. Equestrian's main headquarters at the iconic Kentucky Horse Park. That was always our, our first choice, but you, you know the state needed to, to help us to make that happen, and it did happen very, very um, quickly. We're proud to continue to call Kentucky Horse Park home, and um, we want to thank our friends from the state of Kentucky, uh, especially Secretary um, Parkinson and Secretary Stivers, and our other valued partners here at the park, Laura Pruitt and Jonathan Lang, the Kentucky Horse Park Commission, and the Kentucky Horse Park Foundation for their unwavering support. Honestly, we couldn't have done it without you. And this was a, you know, a major, major initiative. But given my nature, I always have to ask for more. <laughs> it's just not possible for me not to do it. We just made a $9 million investment um, to make this our home and to anchor those 30. And I, I hear the great words about that wanting this to be the capital and the, the center of sport. I have traveled the world. I, I have been in all those other major facilities in Aachen and everywhere else. This is one of two or three great facilities in the world. And we now have to make this just the beginning, this building. We now have to go to the next set. We need a world championships back at the Kentucky Horse Park. And whether it's a World Cup final or world championships or Nations Cup finals, this park needs that. To, if it really wants to be the very best in, in horse sports. And so that's my, our, my next passion to get that. It's just a little task. You know, it's, I'm sure the governor will be fine to spend a couple bucks. <laughs> but it's, it's really important. I mean, this, this is the best facility. It needs to have the best competitions in, in the world. And you've already shown us what you can do when, you, when you've set your mind to it. So work with us to make that, that happen. So back to my thank yous. I, I had to, Bill. <laughs> it's just such a great facility. It's just, if, you've, if you've traveled around the world, there's just no other place that has it all like this, that has the stadiums, that has the indoors, that has the eventing course. And you know, we go through it all the time trying to, to make that happen. So, um, but I would like to thank the fantastic group of contractors and companies who made this building a reality, including um, D.W. Wilburn, our general contractor, who literally put all the pieces together. Thank you, Doug, Kim, Kevin, and Mitchell. Our bankers, John Goman and David Kidd with PNC. Integrity Architecture, who designed this incredible building and brought our vision to life. Thank you, Joey, Joe, Adam, Aaron, and Carrie. IDNA, thank you, Jessica and Abby, for the fabulous furniture and expertise in functional design. Nomi Design, thank you, Matthew, Melody, and Jeremy, for your vision and collaboration on the lobby branding and displays. And lastly, thank you, Sarah Lockwood Taylor, for sharing your unique and powerful artistry. To our staff who have patiently waited for the completion of this building for the last two years, I'd also like to say thank you to all of you. The move required teamwork from all of our staff members, but special recognition who, you know, from the very beginning, David, um, who championed, David Harris, who championed this project for us, um, was a, a massive effort um, alongside with Vicki Lowell for the interior design work and furniture planning and the fearless IT team of Justin Provost, Dean Thornton, Jessica Strayer, Ryan Hayes, and Josh Talbo for overseeing the physical and virtual move, which was massive and just happened not too long ago making sure we were all connected and up and running as soon as possible. So bottom line, our, our new headquarters provides this, um, a space that, you know, I've, this is in my corporate world, I've done a number of these. And you see productivity and you, when you have buildings like this where people can interact and you put the right departments next to each other and the ideas flow, um, great things happen. And we have a, we're passionate about our vision. Our vision is to bring the joy of horse sports to as many people as possible, and I truly believe this building will help us do that better than ever before. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. 
Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, I was just thinking when I was standing over here, if this was not a work day and our community could be out here and hear what's being said and see this facility, you would be getting a standing ovation from this community because we know how important you are. And to the staff, you know, we often recognize the, uh, the key leaders because they make some of the biggest decisions, but you allow them to make the decisions like this because of your strength, because of your uh, intellect, because of your pride in uh, this community and uh, uh, your skills uh, and, and what you have become and, and helped us as a region to become. So we're very honored to be here today and to be recognizing you, this facility. And uh, we know globally, this is just one more step up when people get to see those rings and, and say, that's Lexington, Kentucky, that's the Commonwealth of Kentucky. We're very proud. At this point, I'd like to open it up for any media to ask any questions when we've got all the these key decision makers here. Are there any questions? And just one comment after the questions. Um, I think we're going to be leading a tour. Yes. So. Any questions? That's what I thought. We answered all the questions that you might have. Well, if any of you have any questions, including media afterwards, please let us know and we will make sure we'll connect you with that right person. So at this point, we are going to have uh, the uh, ribbon cutting. Ah, uh, yes. All right. <laughs> then we'll go on a tour.